fall is perhaps the best time of year to transplant pretty much any plant in the landscape, especially hostas. I'm gonna give you three reasons why you should transplant your hostas in the fall as opposed to the spring, and I'm walking you through the process of how I transplant my hostas. Let's get started. So the first thing we need is a good steady shovel. I've got two options here. If you just have a, a, a few hostas or a few plants in your yard that you're looking to transplant or divide, uh, just a basic shovel with a wooden handle round point will do. If you're transplanting a lot of plants or big plants, you may want something like this. This is called a transplant shovel. It's solid steel, the handle steel, the, the, the blade steel here, and you can just get better leverage with this as opposed to a traditional shovel. So the reason that we wanna transplant in the fall, there's, there's several reasons. The first one is the fact that the leaves here in the, in the fall, today is September the 19th, they've done what they're going to do for the year. They're starting to wither away, they're, they're getting brown on the ends, and so leaves, their main goal is to grab sunlight and convert it into sugars. Those sugars get stored into the roots of the plants, and that process has happened already. And so we've got all these sugars stored in the plant. We really don't need the leaves anymore for the plant. And so that's reason number one. Reason number two is when we transplant these, we're not going to have to be watering them near as much as we would in the spring. We're gonna dig these up. We're gonna put them somewhere else, either in a pot or in the ground somewhere else. And what we'll see is we're gonna water it in really heavy one time, and I'm just gonna leave it alone. If I was doing this in spring as the leaves are actively coming out, you're gonna to have to water this several times in order to keep it alive. Doing it in the fall, we eliminate the need for that water. The third is this. As we dig these up, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the leaf material from them. I'll walk you through that process. Now, when we do this, the leaf material, if we just let it lay on the ground, a lot of times with hostas, it doesn't decay as readily as some of the other leaf material does in the garden. And we can have some fungal issues with that. It's that it just stays in the ground, it doesn't decompose, it gets wet and moist and cool, and fungus just loves to grow on hosta leaves that are not fully decomposed yet. So those are three reasons that I like to divide and transplant my hostas in the fall as opposed to the spring. So when we start digging these up, these have really kind of outgrown their space. They're, they're touching each other. I have a hydrangea here in front of me. I have a hydrangea here behind me. And the hostas are even starting to outcompete the hydrangea. So it's just time to divide some of these. And so all we want to do is just go around and dig a circle around the root ball. If you can go around the drip line of the plant, the outer edge of the leaf is what we call the drip line. That's ideal. So this hosta we dug up ended up being so big off camera, I had to divide it in half just to get it into the wheelbarrow. So I got two halves of this ginormous hosta in here. So I'm gonna pull one half out and it's still really heavy. And the first thing we want to do is going to be take a pair of printers and we're just gonna cut this leaf material back. So remember, I said earlier that the leaves have kind of done what they're gonna do for the year. We really don't need this anymore. All the sugars are down in the root. Everything we need for these to come back in the spring are already stored down in here. The next thing I wanna do is I'm going to take a pair of hand pruning saws And anywhere I see a natural split in the hostas, so hostas kind of grow in clumps. And all I'm doing here is I'm putting the blade down through the clump and I'm just gonna saw through 
you can actually hear how hard these roots are. We're just going to saw through right here. And we have our first division right there. So this right here will make a new hosta. And we're just going to continue that all the way through all these clumps. So it takes several minutes to cut a hosta of that size. And so I did that off camera. And what I want to show you are the end results. We end up with something like this. So we've cut the top off. I want you to notice the amount of root mass that each one of these have, okay? They go pretty deep and the root mass is wider than what's left of the vegetation as well. I'm more concerned about having good root mass on my hosta fans. So a fan is just a clump, okay? And that is the main concern. And all these look really good. So let's walk over. I'm gonna show you how I plant these. So we're in an area of the yard here that I've been slowly renovating. I've ran some drip irrigation through here. I've got a couple of Japanese maples that I've grafted in here, and I'm also in the process of putting in some hostas as well. And so this is just a really nice shady area to do it in. So it's real simple. All we want to do is knock back the pine straw a little bit, and we want to dig a hole that is the same size as one of our root balls for these hostas. So now that our hole is dug, all we need to do is insert one of the root balls from the hostas and put the dirt back over the top. So we're going to go through and pl plant the remaining five of these hosta root balls throughout this garden here. And then when we're done with that, we're going to water them in really well. We're going to saturate the ground around each one of them and we're just going to leave them. It's as easy as that. Dig them up cut off the leaf material, divide the root ball to have healthy root ball structure, dig your hole, put your root ball in, backfill, saturate it. Next spring, you'll have big, beautiful hostas coming out of the ground. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.